Hello everybody and welcome to Microbiology Lab today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about bacterial transformation. I want to remind everybody to please read their lab handout, Lab 9, trans uh, Transformation of P. Globoplasmid. Uh, just for a little background before we do the actual procedure, uh, we're going to perform a genetic transforma uh, transformation today, which is essentially, uh, we could say it's a change caused by genes. And as you know, a gene is a, a piece of DNA that would provide instructions for making a particular protein. We could say the DNA is coded for or encoded with the message to produce this protein. Uh, the protein then usually serves uh, in some cellular function uh, and gives an organism a particular trait or what we would call a phenotype. Uh, in lab, we would do transformation so that we could make more copies of genes, so we could insert them into organisms and make the protein uh, the end product uh, that they code for. Uh, in agriculture, uh, gene traits such as spoilage, frost, uh, ship, uh, shipping conditions, etc., can be uh, coded for and, and transformed into plants uh, to make them more resistant to uh, some of these things. Uh, medically, uh, the gene for the hormone insulin can be put into bacteria. The bacteria will then produce authentic human insulin that can be used uh, to treat patients with diabetes. Uh, today, we're going to transform bacteria, actually specifically E. coli, uh, with a gene that codes for the green fluorescent protein, or GFP. Uh, this uh, GFP gene comes from the jellyfish Aquaria victoria. And when this uh, protein is exposed to UV light, it will fluoresce green, or glow green. Uh, so today we're going to learn about the process of moving genes from one organism to another using uh, plasmids, or with the aid of plasmids. You will recall that bacteria have one large chromosome, but they also commonly have one or more small circular pieces uh, of DNA called plasmids. These plasmids usually have genes that uh, for traits that are beneficial to bacteria, such as uh, inferring resistance to antibiotics. Um, the plasmid we're using today comes from BioRad. It has several elements that are critical to its function. Uh, first of all, we have the jellyfish GFP, or green, green fluorescent protein gene. This confers green fluorescence in the presence of UV light when the gene is expressed. The plasmid also has what is known as the BLA gene, B-L-A, all lowercase, uh, whose gene product confers ampicillin to uh, resistance to bacteria when it's expressed. And then also the ARAC gene, whose encoded protein stimulates GF gene uh, expression when arabinose is present. So, following bacterial transformation, we will select for these transformed bacteria, these transformed uh, colonies with the PGLO DNA uh, by growth on ampicillin-containing plates. If the plasmid has been taken up, then they will, uh, it will provide those genes provide resistance to the E. coli for ampicillin. So when the PGLO transformed cells are grown in nutrient medium, medium containing arabinose, they are going to fluoresce green uh, as well. The GFP expression is stimulated and the bacteria will glow green when exposed to UV light, or at least the colonies will. Uh, so when uh, arabinose is not present okay. in the oh, medium. Oh, I'm sorry. For, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. When arabinose is not present in the medium, 
Uh, the GFD gene remains turned off, it is not expressed, so the colonies will appear white. Okay, so now we're going to perform the transformation procedure itself. Uh, tomorrow or Friday, uh, I will at least take pictures of the results uh, and have those posted so that you can complete this, uh, this particular lab. Okay, so let's move on to the procedure here. And we have everything in front of us here. We have a, a positive... Uh, labeled two for the PGLO uh, plasmid and then the negative. The first thing the procedure tells us to do is to add 250 microliters. I've chosen to use a, an analytical pipette. 250 microliters of the transformation solution. The transformation solution is actually just calcium chloride which uh, serves to uh, make the plasma membrane of uh, the E. coli a little more uh, flexible, if you will, and allows for the absorption or the entry uh, of the plasma. Okay, so we've added 250 microliters of transformation solution. We are going to place these tubes in crushed ice uh, at this point. Then we have what, what we refer to as starter plates, the E. coli plates. I streak them just as you learned in class how to streak for isolation so that we have isolated colonies that we can pick up. So what with a sterile uh, loop, of course. So what we're going to do here is we are going to pick up a single colony of bacteria and put it into the P glow positive tube. So I'm going to turn this plate over so that we can grab a colony. Then we want to go into our P glow positive tube. Try to, whoa, got away from me. Turn, turn it back and forth to get that colony, to get the bacteria off into that transformation solution. All right, then we want to do the same thing with our uh, P glow negative tube. Where did that go? I want to use this one. Oh, it's in there, of course. Okay, so we're going to pull off another colony that's been isolated here, put it into the negative tube as well, as we did the positive. Put it back on the crushed ice. And then we'll, while we're letting this sit here for just a moment, let's look at the plasmid uh, with UV light. You can see it, it does glow a little. So pressing on. Um, we're going to incubate these tubes on ice for 10 minutes. So at about 10.25, uh, oh, first we have to add the plasma, excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and add the plasma to these tubes, then we will incubate on ice for 10 minutes. Um, it's very important when getting this plasmid that you make sure that in fact you have something there you can see it uh, the suspension being held so we're going to go into the positive tube the pico positive if I can open it okay so we've mixed our plasmid in now with our isolated colony and our transformation solution and we are going to incubate that for 10 minutes till 925.